It was Queen Elizabeth II that said, when life seems hard, the courageous do not lie down and accept defeat. Instead, they are all the more determined to struggle for a better future. I believe Queen Elizabeth was a woman who lived wholeheartedly. My name is Marie Bailey, and I am delighted to be part of the PhD program. I believe that we need to live wholeheartedly if we want to step into the future and the inheritance that God has for us in his kingdom. Another man that lived wholeheartedly was Caleb. He was one of the 12 spies and we know the story of how him and Joshua came back with good news and 10 other spies came back with bad news and soured the whole, a whole generation. And in Numbers 14, 24, the Lord said, not one of them will ever see the land I promised on oath. He said, but because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land. Their children, the ge whole generation, um, who murmured against the Lord, that whole generation's children served as shepherds for 40 years until all their parents died. And none of their parents ever saw the promised land or ever walked into the promised land, only the, the children. The Bible says the Lord's eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. He says, guard your heart above all else because from it is the wellspring of life. Sorry, I'm paging my papers here. But you might ask, why should we live wholeheartedly? Because the Bible says in James 1 verse 6 to 8, when you ask for wisdom, and we need a lot of wisdom in this time of uncertainty of our country, of our future. There's so much doubt. Social media is spreading so many murmurs and doubts and, and, and bad news about our in, uh, future that makes us doubt. But the Bible says the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. And that person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable. You might ask, Marie, how then do we live wholehearted? And this has been my quest. And the Bible says in Colossians, uh, in verse 23, I think it's chapter 3, it says, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. This is my prayer for us. May we live wholehearted lives. May we be the ones like Joshua and Caleb that brings a positive report that is full of faith, that asks God for wisdom and that says, yes, Lord, whatever you say you want to do, yes, Lord, let's do it. Have a wonderful day.